Hey guys, how's it going? Kevin Cleary here with a knife video for you. Today we're looking at a knife from Senkut. It's it's an interesting knife in that it has a different blade shape than we're used to seeing. It's a you know a very dramatic sort of cleaver style knife. Um, everything here is done pretty well, but I have to say this knife is just a little underwhelming. All right. Um, and that may seem strange to many of you. It kind of seems strange to me because everything is actually great about this knife, right? I, I can't point you to the one thing and say, you know, hey, this is this is poorly done because everything is actually pretty well done. So let's let's take a quick look here and talk about this. So up front we have this very dramatic cleaver style blade with a bit of a sort of a horn on it and a bit of a top swedge here. A uh, little bit of a run of jimping on the back spine. It's not crazy thick blade stock. A little bit under an eighth of, eighth of an inch. Nice satin finish though, which looks beautiful. And I have to say, my favorite thing about this knife, and the reason I picked this up over, you know, a bunch of other Sen cuts that uh, we could be looking at right now, is this blade is kind of doing something special and cool. Uh, it is very thin behind the edge. Okay. It has this very high flat grind. So this slices like crazy. Now the only, you know, it would actually make a great sort of kitchen style knife, except you can see the, the blade to handle relationship. It means that if you're cutting on a surface, uh, what have I got that sort of can fill that role? I guess uh, the ruler can kind of be the, the flat surface, but you can see if I was cutting here, my fingers get in the way or, and so if I can't the knife forward, I still end up with that little gap all the time. So I've got to, you've got to, if you're cutting with this, you're kind of doing this. You're going to have to draw it back through whatever you're cutting, which is fine, but could have been alleviated by putting an angle on this. Okay. Or doing, uh, you know, the, you know, adjusting the, the blade handle relationship or a couple of other things. Um, but for EDC stuff, it's great. So if you're buying this as a folding kitchen knife, then it ha it lacks a little bit. But if you're not, if you're buying it for EDC stuff, then no complaints whatsoever. It works really, really well. And that big dramatic blade is, <coughs> oh, excuse me, really, really cool. Okay. Uh, in terms of action, um, I don't know if I mentioned this is 9CR 18 MOV steel, which is great budget steel and performs really, really nicely. And, you know, for the price point, you just cannot complain about that steel at all. Okay, so let's carry on. Uh, we do have a bearing pivot here with a liner lock. The handles have been milled out to cut back on the weight a little bit. We've got nice grippy G10 here. Deep carry bent over clip with flush screws, which is awesome. All right, so that's a quick rundown of the feature standoff construction. So it's easy to kind of blow this out or clean it out if needed. All right. Uh, and so that's a, that's a nice overview. Let me hit the size on this before we move on. And then I want to talk about some other things. All right. So eight and one sixteenth overall. So just a little over eight inches, three and nine sixteenths on the blade. So it's actually quite a bit of blade there, three and three quarters grip area. So even if you've got pretty large hands, no issues with this knife whatsoever, Okay, it's four and five eighths closed, which is absolutely impressive for a eight inch knife to have a fairly small package when closed and still end up with tons and tons of blade. Okay, that's a huge win for me. And the weight on this guy is going to be 3.88 ounces. Again, very nicely done. So as, as I have gone over the features, I've gone over the specs, right? There's, there's nothing about any of that to dissuade me from recommending this knife. All right. The only thing that, you know, makes me go, well, you know, how, how great is it? it it's, it's, kind of vanilla at this point, right? We are in a sea of liner locks with 9CR18 MOV steel, uh, every Civivi, every Sencut, every CJRB, every Kubi, you know, and on and on we could go with a billion different Chinese knife manufacturers. They all pretty much these days have good action, right? You're hard pressed to find a knife that has crappy action these days. And if you did, every, you know, <laughs> reviewers like me would be complaining about it and everyone would know. So it'd be, you know, a lost cause. Um, so it's just kind of, it's hard to make yourself stand out in sort of a sea of budget flippers. All right. 
Um, could they have done some things differently? Yeah, maybe having a, an opening in the blade to allow for a spider flick would have been useful. I don't think it needs a, a thumb disc. The flipper is nice. The liner lock is good. The lockup is solid. The action is smooth. The, the grip, uh, when you have this knife in hand, is really, really nice. Okay, but it's kind of a one trick pony, this knife. And the one trick is it's got this big, dramatic, admittedly cool blade. All right. And so if you like that, hey, do not hesitate because you'll really enjoy this knife. And and, and I actually do kind of like the blade. But again, I, I kind of feel like it, the blade is the, the big story here. If you don't, if you're not into that kind of dramatic cleaverish blade, then this is probably a pass for most people. All right. Um, and so it's it's hard to you know it's hard to get real excited about this. I will throw in a couple of other knives. So uh, here's something that is I think pretty darn exciting from Senkut. You know this is a truly impressive knife. These cost around the same price. Okay. Um, the only drawback to this one is the D2 steel. I would love it if the the 8CR or 9CR18 was on this knife. Um, but nonetheless, uh, this knife is. Very similar to this, except for it's a button lock instead of a liner lock, which makes it a little more fidgety. You do have the option of a thumb, di a thumb stud deployment or a flipper. The action is absolutely superb. It feels great in hand. Okay, so um, this knife feels just a little more special, a little more compelling, a little more interesting. Let me bring in another knife that has that same kind of... Um, extra interest to it. So this is Civivi. This is the Sentinel Strike. Again, it just, it's a little more dramatic. It's got a little more going on in terms of both visual and design elements. Uh, I mean, <laughs> um, design and practical elements, uh, which make it a little more compelling. Uh, so I thought I'd throw those in. I do have one more um, budget knife that I, that's sitting here. So this is the CJRB Frack. Again, now this is going to cost a little bit more, but again, it's just got a little more going on. It's it's a little more, it's there's a, a little more to get excited about, if you will. Okay, um, so those are just a few budget options. I will throw in, so here's a Rat Model 1. Of course, you know, beloved liner lock knife. Very similar, like there's not much between these two that are, that's different. D2 steel, of course. Um, this is going to be washers instead of bearings, so the action is maybe not quite as good, although this one is smooth as silk. Um, but this is also like a 10 or 15 year old knife model where this is, you know, this just came out kind of this year and it's, again, it's a little underwhelming. Uh, what else could I throw in here? What about, uh, button lock elementum? That might be something to take a look at. Now there's going to be a significant price difference here. Uh, oh, and I guess for the sake of just consistency, we'll throw a para two in there as well, just to kind of give you a sense for the overall size. All right. So those are some comparisons. Some of those are competitive options. Some of them are just to give you a sense for, you know, the size and, and feel of the knife. Um, but overall, this is a good knife, right? There's nothing absolutely nothing wrong with it. The action is great. The ergonomics are great. The cutting edge is great. The steel is great for the price point. Um, it just is a little bit underwhelming. Okay. Um, I do, again, I, you know, I find myself kind of drawn to this big blade. I like the satin finish and, and let me, let me give you guys a, a little look here. Uh, like that is a really nicely done satin finish. Right, I just love those grind lines. Just looks really, really attractive to me. Um, so, if that's your thing, then you know this is a great option for you. But um, the the problem is if it's if it's not this big blade that sells you on it, it, there are probably a lot of other options that might be a little more compelling. All right, so that's my overall thought on the the Senkut uh, Traxler. Good knife, uh, just hard to get excited about it. Um, don't forget to check the channel sponsors. That's a huge, huge help to the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We will talk to you soon.